Hey guys, today we are talking to Bob Lowry and he is the founder of the Pool Chemistry Training Institute. And today we're doing some videos with some information for you to learn. And at the end of this video, we're gonna have the time and dates that Bob's gonna be doing some training for his certification. We'll talk a little bit about that. Bob, I do have one question for you. Me kind of coming into the pool industry when I did back then, we talked about adding liquid chlorine and obviously there was always that I add the liquid chlorine and I would always go back and add acid to lower the pH level. Absolutely. But there is talk now that liquid chlorine does not raise the pH level. Yeah. Is that true? It's true. And, and I believe it or not, and for about 30 years of my career in this industry, I told people that you had to add acid whenever you added liquid chlorine to, to offset the high pH of liquid chlorine. And I told people that for years. So, so I at one time was a believer also. So let me set the record straight because as I've said many times, science doesn't care what you think. And, and uh, those have become a mantra for me because a lot of guys said, well, I thought this. And the answer is science doesn't care. You know, and so here's the skinning on it. You're absolutely right. Liquid chlorine has a pH of between 11 and 13, depending on who made it. So um, it does have a high pH. And the logic is you put it in the pool, it's gonna raise the pH of the pool. And so, there, you know, it, it does. But the answer that I didn't, that didn't dawn on me was what happens when you put the liquid chlorine in the pool. And we all know, at least I hope you know, you've been in the pool industry long enough, when you put chlorine in water, regardless of the source, you end up making hypochlorous acid, which you may have seen, I hope you have seen it, and the, the letters that we use to abbreviate hypochlorous acid are H-O-C-L, hydrogen, oxygen, and chlorine. So it's hypochlorous acid, and it's made whenever you put any kind of chlorine in water. When you put liquid chlorine in water, liquid chlorine is a combination to begin with of chlorine and sodium hydroxide. So when you put chlorine in water, the chlorine comes off and then it makes sodium hydroxide, and that raises the pH. The, the chlorine, makes HOCl, hypochlorous acid. But what we didn't realize is that tomorrow, or maybe the rest of today, depending on when you put that liquid chlorine in, the HOCl gets destroyed by sunlight, even with cyanuric acid in the water. And it also gets destroyed by oxidation and by uh, killing bacteria and algae. So in the process, of uh, destroying things, HOCl becomes HCl. We simply take away the oxygen. And so the oxygen leaves, so HOCl becomes HCl tomorrow. So we got HOCl today, HOCl, HCl tomorrow. And the amount of HCl that is made is almost exactly equal to the amount of sodium hydroxide was created when you poured it in the water. And the two cancel each other out and, and the net difference to the pH in your pool is zero. And, and it took me 30 years to figure that out. But, but nonetheless, it's true. And a friend of mine, John Sankas, has actually made a video using a bucket and some liquid chlorine that is and his uh, tester and tested it and showed that the next day the pH goes right back to where it started. And it, and it just, it amazed him even in the video. He, he came back the next day and the pH was exactly where it was the day before, before he put the, the, uh, the chlorine in. So um, it, just, it really yeah, is true. I'm sitting here, Bob, kind of trying to think all the years that I used the liquid chlorine and in the same thought process, I was always adding acid uh, just to offset that. So obviously, probably would have saved a lot of money in that case. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
well, like everything you put in the pool has to cost money, right? <laughs> and it's expensive, right? So, absolutely. So, guys, I wanted to do this video because I wanted you guys to get it from Bob himself and uh, and get that information that liquid chlorine does not raise your pH level, even though we've kind of always thought that because we think that the pH level of liquid chlorine is higher. So therefore the thought process is I add some, so I have to add some acid to it. So Bob has just answered that question for us. Guys, at the end of this video, we have the dates and times that Bob will be doing some training for his water chemistry certification. If you haven't signed up, check out the dates, register. You're gonna learn a lot of great information that you haven't learned in the pool industry. If you've been in the pool industry for a long time, Trust me, there's a lot of nuggets in here that will make you so much better. So guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and we will talk soon.